Just in the Best Biscuits, Chapter 3, Grandpa Arrives. He found Hadia in the kitchen. Whatever she was cooking smelled delicious. For a 12-year-old, she cooks good, he thought. She should. She lived in the kitchen, forever stirring up something. How come you're always in the kitchen, he asked as he fixed himself a bowl of cereal. I guess because I like magic. What's magic got to do with it? Well, see, when I put dough in the oven, what do I take out? Cake. And when I put milk, egg, sugar, and vanilla in a pot, add a little heat, presto, pudding. After he downed two bowls of cereal and a peanut butter sandwich, he was still hungry. Mmm, that smells good, Hadia. What is it? Please, she said, want a taste? He licked the spoon, lemon-flavored something. Only Hadia knew that. What? Justin only knew it tasted good, and he wanted more. No, she said. That's for dessert tonight. Grandpa's coming, remember? Justin knew he had to have something else to eat. How about making me an egg, he asked Hadia. I'm through in the kitchen now. You can make your own egg. But I don't know how. Justin, that's the easiest thing in the world to make. He had seen his mother scramble eggs with rice. They almost always had cooked rice in the refrigerator. He'd make eggs and rice. When the teaspoon of butter was hot in the small iron skillet, he added the rice first. He got the egg in a bowl ready to beat the egg for scrambling. He broke the egg and suddenly it seemed alive. He had no control. It fell from the shelves so fast he didn't know what had happened. It splattered against the cabinet and slapped down on the floor. He grabbed paper towels and tried to quickly get it cleaned up. But the eggs slipped all over. What a mess! Then he smelled something awful. The rice, it was smoking almost on fire. Just then Evelyn burst into the kitchen. Justin, what in the world? I'm hungry. You know you can't cook. Look at this floor. Get out. I, I, let me get it up. No, get out. Go. He left no longer wanting more to eat. He stood outside the kitchen just long enough to hear Evelyn say, can't do a thing right. He slammed his door and threw the clothing that remained on his bed across the room. He stormed around angrily, kicking his shoes, balls, and balls his games. He wanted to scream, I don't care how messy I am. Throwing himself across his bed, he lay with his feet dangling to the floor. He looked up at the light beige ceiling, the only uncluttered space in his room. Besides all the clutter on the floor, his wall, slightly darker than the ceiling, had every inch of space covered. Pictures of baseball, basketball, and football players completed with rock stars, TV stars. And he had just added a big picture of Haley's Comet, his favorite at the moment. Now he kept his eye on the ceiling, trying to forget Evelyn and how much he still had to do to make his room look neat. A flood of light woke him. At first, he thought he was dreaming. His mama, Hadia, Evelyn, and his grandpa were all in his room. Justin, wake up. Grandpa is here, his mom said. First, he was dazed, then suddenly he realized they were there in all that clutter. What happened in here, his mama asked. Her quiet manner and even disposition slipped away. Why didn't you clean your room, she asked sharply. He couldn't raise his eyes, but he felt their gazes on him. He became angry. Why did they bring Grandpa into my room, he wondered. He refused to answer his mother's question. I'll tell you, mama. He played, then he messed up the kitchen. Evelyn, be quiet, Hadia said, as if embarrassed to have that said in front of Grandpa. Why do you always have to put your mouth in it, Justin shouted. I don't like you telling me what to do. I don't like doing women's work. What's womanish about cleaning in this room, Evelyn retorted. I told you to clean your room. Evelyn didn't, Mama said. What's wrong with you, Justin? Wait a minute, Grandpa finally said. Why don't all of you leave me and Justin alone for a little while? But Papa, Mama said. Go on now, Grandpa insisted. All right, Mama said, but you're going to clean this room. You hear me, Justin? She threw her hands. She threw up her hands as she left with Evelyn and Hadia. Alone with his Grandpa, he wanted to fling himself into Grandpa's arm. He loved Grandpa more than anyone. But he sat on his bed, unable to move, unable to speak. He struggled to hold back rising tears. Grandpa stood waiting. Finally, Justin said, I can't stand it here. I can't do anything right. Nothing. The tears splashed, and he quickly brushed them away with the back of his hand. He burned with shame, his Grandpa seeing him cry like a baby. Grandpa still waited quietly. That's what Justin liked about him. Grandpa didn't rush him. He listened. Justin went on. I don't like to clean the house, Grandpa. I don't like to wash dishes, and I hate folding clothes, and to make your bed, pick up your things, and to tidy up your room, eh? Suddenly, Justin was again aware of how messy his room looked. His grandpa reached out and touched his shoulder. When Justin looked up, he saw that look on grandpa's face that was always there after a great joke. They both burst out laughing. How would you like to come home to the ranch with me? It's festival time again. Justin beamed. He loved the big rodeo, the games, and the parade in grandpa's town. You know those black cowboys I've been telling you about? Their rodeo is performing. You're kidding, grandpa. I kid you not. Can I really come, Justin asked? Let's ask your mama. He looked at Justin. Mama did not look up when she said, I'm upset with Justin. He will not go any place until that room is neat. All right, all right, I'll clean my room. He raced to his room and quickly stuffed all the things back in the closet and closed the door. When his mama came up to see what he had done, he nervously tried to smooth his bed, hoping she wouldn't open the closet door. His mother looked around the room inside. Justin was not sure he had passed inspection. Soon they all sat down to Hadia's delicious spaghetti dinner. While they waited for that dessert Justin had tasted, just, Grandpa asked if Justin could come home with him for a few days. I don't know, Papa, Mama said. Grandpa, why don't you take me? Hadia said. I'd cook you some good food. If you cook food for me the way you cooked tonight, I'd get fat, Dia. It's Justin's turn. Yours is next. How about it, daughter? Justin, do you think you deserve to go? Mama asked. Oh, Mama, let him go. Be good to get rid of him for a while, Evelyn said. Sure, I want to go, Justin said. He looked at Evelyn as if to say, I won't miss you either. He can go, but only if you spend the night, Papa, Mama said. That's a deal, Grandpa said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went up to the table. Hadia went to serve her magic dessert. That 